They know like us. They know like us. <laughs> We're eating sugar cane. They know like us. It's summertime with flexing in my Mayu. In Kenya, Africa. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. It's a good day, a bright day, and a celebration day. We're celebrating America. It's the 4th of July. In the Happy Independence Day, Americans. So, you guys have been supporting me from what go, and that can't go unappreciated. Much, much love from Kenya. My name is Go See Africa. So, uh, today is a sign of celebrating you, and uh, it's a sign of giving back. I want to be showcasing the best of Africa. I know we had that one person who wants to see Africa from my lenses. So today it's the time. We have that one person who has never been to the Great Rift Valley. I am inside the Great Rift Valley. I'm somewhere in the villages of Ngema with the Maasai community. So I want to be trans traversing the semi-arid grassland from this place to the beautiful escarpments of Mai Maiu. Then you know what? right next to that town we have mount longknot whereby we have the hot springs and an active volcanic activity so just pray the the activity won't won't happen when i'm still i'm still in that place because <laughs> i don't remember the last time i ran fast so i want to be very careful when i'm in that place but it's, it's a good place. Don't uh, believe that uh, such an activity can happen in these ages, but we safe. I'm accompanied by my friends and um, I hope you're going to enjoy the video from the start to the end. Finally, the long awaited journey starts at around 9 a.m. So I'm leaving in the company of my friends. Yeah, we shall be traversing the beautiful semi-arid grassland of Gema, so we expect to be in my mayu at around uh, 10 a.m so in my mayu we're going to think whether to go up the escarpment the beautiful escarpment whereby you're able to get the best views of africa i know whenever i get i talk about escarpments everyone gets excited everyone wanna know wanna see the rift valley uh, from a race place <laughs> The Great Rift Valley stretches across East Africa, Lake Agingati Kund, extending from Tanzania through Kenya and into Ethiopia, from south to north. Most of the Great Rift Valley falls in Kenya, that is Rift Valley province, and it is said to be most beautiful section. The Great Rift Valley in its entirety across the African continent is believed to be more than 3,907 miles, and in some places it's up to 4,906 feet deep and it is all caused by movement of tectonic plates and volcanic activities. Tell me, we have uh, several areas we can visit uh, within Rift Valley. You can, you can tell me, mention like, we have Masai Mara, we have Lake Nakuru, Lake Naivasha, we have Mount Longonot, yeah, where we have that, uh, the hot springs. Then, uh, which are the other places? Lake Elementator. Lake Elementator. Yeah, yeah. we have Lake Baringo. Oh. Or in Rift Valley. That is still in Rift Valley. Yeah. In Going Trukana we have Lake Trukana. Trukana. Trukana yes. Uh huh. In Ethiopia we have uh, Lake Omo, River Omo, where where, where we found those uh, fossils, the first human fossil. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, which is which are, to be the cradle of mankind. The cradle of mankind. Yeah. Then do you have another place? Tanzania we have Lake Tanganyika. Oh, Lake Tanganyika, exactly a fresh water. left the maram so this is the tarmac and we are headed to uh, 
my mayu so my mayu gives me that uh, los angeles vibe it's a city inside a rift valley yeah just next to the escarpment so that's how the environment looks like it now feels good being at the tarmac no dust at all so this is kenya we're coming live from east africa kenya Just joining, my name is Ghost Sea Africa. So, uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel, get me to 10,000 subscribers. So, I'm still accompanied by my friends here, and you used to sing my guy here, Juma. Yeah, so we're breaking the bottom a bit, heading to the town it's the last like one month we have been at the villages <laughs> the Maasai people with the pastoralists yeah, go people I called them the indigenous people of Africa and some guys were on my neck like how do you call them with the indigenous people we are indigenous as well but uh, a fact about the Maasai people, these people have maintained their culture, their first culture. You know, most communities in Africa have forgotten the, or their culture. They have adopted the Western culture, the Mzungu culture. You know, as an African, ladies never used to wear trousers. But now, everyone is wearing trousers. So the Maasai people were the shuka, the Maasai shuka. Something they just wrap their their waist with a, a cloth. Man to women, they don't wear trousers. Yeah. They live universe. Yeah, it's a verse. They live in Manyata houses, house constructed using cow ducts. And I told you that Manyata houses are built by women. Yeah, in Maasai community, women by build their houses. Unlike where you are, you know, um, you are used to men building building houses and protecting the family. They told me they sure a man you always protect the family, but uh, in Maasai community, uh, men are always out there looking for cattle hunting then men, women are left at home looking for the kids cooking and building houses that's africa i want you to leave a flag show me tell me where are you watching this video from Where are you watching from? So we are approaching this beautiful town of Maimayu. Those are residential areas. Yeah, residential areas. So, that's a police team. Managing traffic. Uh, this, this is a river which uh, used to be a river. So during the last um, rain, rain season, we had a lot of floods. Many people lost their lives from this point. So many people, we still have some people missing. The city inside the Rift Valley. My Mayu. My Mayu is a Kikui word, meaning uh, cold water. Hot, 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 hot water. Hot. Oh! Hot water. I thought it's cold. <laughs> it's really you say Majimoto. No one plays with hot water. So I really need to know 
why was this place called Mai Maiu? The place of hot water. Mwangi place in little Mai Maiu, Kwanin? You eat a Maji Alongo and Takonga Pali. Alongo Nas. Because of the hot springs. Ah, oh, the Maji hot water in the Kwanin. Out of the hot springs from the Alongo Oh, I'm told we have hot springs for Mount Longonot, which is somewhere next to this place. Yeah, we are in Nakuru County. Nakuru County! Big up to my team, the Black Jews. Well, you want to good job. Again. Finally, <laughs> we are in this beautiful town of Maimayu. Damn! So today I learned something new. I never heard before. I never knew before. Maimayu means a place of hot water. Damn! Beautiful scenery. It's a good town. It's the Los Angeles vibe. So he's trying to seek for directions to some place. Try to gather information. It's always good to Inquire. Oh, Mali, he led in you. Woo! So people are driving big vehicles this point. Good life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The only famous cobbler we have in this town. This town. Yeah, skin hide. This is a place so common with truck drivers. So prostitution in this area. So rampant. Very high. But money still flowing. So we have people from all sides of this country, all corners of this country, travelers, most of them are travelers. So people come here before heading to other directions in East Africa, not only Kenya alone. So that's the work of donkeys in this area. So donkeys pull cut. Yeah. Oh. A very busy town. See you. You ain't getting any bitch. The first go bang town phones. Though I'm Maram town. And this reminds me that we just buried Mr. Ibu. You know Mr. Ibu? We grew up watching this Nigerian movie for Mr. Ibu. Yeah, this my my the Los Angeles of Africa. <laughs> Yeah, love this. I love this. So, renters all over the streets, some cooking. We saw people feel the same way like it's happening in Nairobi. Boys, young boys, bachelors eat from the streets. 
So yeah, that person who knows every day I'm waking up to go cook at the street then feed the bachelors. You need to go that side. A very busy town. Very busy one. Uh, it's a back to school. Kids are in the streets. School boys and girls going back to school. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. The donkey. On my first day in this beautiful town, we want to talk about the yeah, first experience so. when you land in this town. The, uh, the common means of transport are the matatus, that's a matatu. Then we have uh, border border, which are the bikes, motorbikes. Then uh, we have a different one, the donkeys. So anyone bearing water from one point to the other, they use donkeys, donkey pole cart, yeah? Then uh, we have tuk-tuks. Basically, we have all means of transport. We have all kinds of transport in this town. Then uh, the town grew as a result of uh, being a stopover for truck drivers. Yeah, they are so common. Someone told me that prostitution is very high in this area because of uh, these guys, because you have to station somewhere. I don't, I don't know why we always have to label uh, truck driving with prostitution. Wow, big bus. I don't know why we always label prostitution to truck driving yeah we always link it with truck driving I don't know why is, is it that then the uh, the common uh, tribe in this area are the Kikuyu people though we it's a metropolitan area but Kikuyu are the most followed by the Maasai people then definitely anyone is maybe offering a different service in this town yeah yeah, so people are, because <laughs> I want, want to know what is this guy doing here? Why why is he filming? What, is, what kind of film is he making? Then people will love reggae. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then uh, I, can, I can tell. The rate of an, an unemployment in this area uh, is a huge one. Yeah, it's big, big, very big. Guys driving big vehicles. Very busy town. So as I'm seated in this one location, I can tell we have so many observations, first impressions. Yeah. The town's well tarmac, though we still have a lot of dust. We have a lot of dust. I'm sure by the time I'll be waking up from this point, my head will be brown. <laughs> yeah, the gutters. Gutters are clean. You guys clean their gutters. The county government of Nakuru seems to be working. They are, they are working, they are working. So, some of these big trucks are very uh sand or uh, food stuffs from the garden we have big time farmers surrounding this area so they, they always ferry those uh vegetables to the city to nairobi to mombasa or to another big town big city in this country meanwhile for go see african there Black Geos. This was our flex month. So we are all over. 
Our team is New York, others in Nairobi, others in Mayu Mayu. So we are all over. We are having a good time. Summertime! We need to be singing these summertime songs at times. I don't know which is the trending song for summertime. I remember last year, last year Wizkid was, uh, Wiz was trending. So I want to know which song is trending for the summer. In Nairobi, what's trending is the protests, the demonstrations, the government protests. The Gen Z's of Kenya, <laughs> they working. <laughs> Fighting for your rights. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all, it feels good by the day, the time you know your rights. Shows that uh, you are well enlightened. Very busy town. Very busy one. Yeah. You can never take a minute without uh, seeing a vehicle pass. Then kids as well, they going back to school. Kids are going back to school. Shabi always tells me that uh, anytime you don't need to interact with people and interview people, interview yourself. So these are the gutters, though maybe they never clean today, but uh, you can tell they do clean them so regularly, very regularly. So I just to come somewhere here whereby <laughs> I can attract the attention of everyone. Let them know, go see Africa was around. This is my Mayu, the place of hot water. I once made a video, a different video, and I said it's a place of cold water. So I just learned today, I just got someone familiar with this place, and they told me, my Mayu, it's a Kikui word meaning place of hot water. So boys here, many boys here are jobless, so whenever I'm filming, I have to be extra careful. I have to be very careful. Someone can make their day with me. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this. I'm not filled there. Yeah. 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 YouTube went to go see Africa. Go see Africa. Yeah. 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 Go see Africa. End of Africa. Yeah. Go see Africa. Yeah. Mzee ata jiona bila alikuwa na ipiga isa baza ana. Kiusa. Yeah. Ki kiunati yani. Wewe kiunati au kiusa? Kiusa. Kiusa. Lakini unajua rasta rasta men wanajitaga wanati. Eh ni wanati? Eh bana. Me and us do about my Mayu. Me and I just want to talk about you. At the end of the day, eh, kitu mu yote ni just do about my Mayu. Kitu ni my fans would like to know something. I will tell them something. Maybe they have never, they 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 don't know about my Mayu. Kitu new. Eh, mtu akingi apa. The first thing I have for one in. Sikuwa hii tu maji moto sababu na maji. Oh maji moto, hot water. Yeah. Na ikuwa hivi. Yes. Allah. 
Lakini hiyo ina mina rose mingi sana. Eh? Labda ni mina. Ah maybe the hiyo mountain pia ni. Iko still like the volcano bado ni active ni kama. Eh kama hiyo mlima hiyo ya volcano. Hiyo kama mlima iko hiyo inatoka kama maji. Yeah. Ni kama ni white ni white white rock. Oh white rock. Sasa hiyo white rock wakati wa jua inachoma hiyo. Sasa inaweka moto. Hiyo maji inakuja kwa moto kwa nini? Na ilianza lini? When did it start? Beginning of the day. Allah. Hiyo. Kama ni kitu kitu kitambo. Eh, kitu natural. Maima hiyo ni kitu cha ni kitambo sana. Eh. Hiyo sana. Hiyo sana. Haite. Haite. Lakini ni jacket ni kuwa hapa kitambo sana. Yeah, I can ask uh, what made this sound come into existence. In, 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 I just wanted to relax and to be this. Yani, ni ndo ilifanya hii town sasa ika ikaanza kujiform ikakuwa na town imali. Is it a simali zimezunguka hii area? Lori ya mchanga. Oh, sima lori za transport. Hizi za na trucks. Lori za tera na lori za mchanga. Hizo ndizo Wow. <laughs> 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 I love this. Guys, you are so welcome. Yeah? I am you. Uh-huh. I am going to be very busy. I am going to be idol. I am going to be idol. Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone mind their own business. Yeah. Wow. Uh, by the way. So this road is headed to Narok? Yeah. Where are you? Nakuru. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Hii ndo sikuwa sikuwa ninajua inaenda wapi by the way. Oh. North Road. Oh Great North Road. Aha. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Keep on subscribing to this channel. You know what? I'm waiting for my driver. We are supposed to leave this town end time going back to the interior, to the village where we living with the Maasai people. So here is a town mostly occupied by the Kikuyus. So we just heard about uh, that was a very good discussion with the Kikuyu people. They're trying to give me a little history about this town. And I'm happy with so much welcoming and uh, they're not hiding any information from me. Whatever I just told you about my first impression about this town, they just confirmed it. They know like us. They know like us. <laughs> We're eating sugar cane. They know like us. It's summertime with flexing in my Mayu. In Kenya, Africa. <laughs> Good luck. Go. Go. Hey, you go. Now go around the king. Go around the village. They not like us. So I was told never to take an advice from a man like this one. This guy told me that he rented his, uh, his garden, his land at home, then moved to the city. Now he's living his good life at the city. <laughs> Fighting for something, my friend. <laughs> so you're, you're not from Mayu? Eh? Which, which area are you coming from? From Kisi. Kisi? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not like us.
they're not like us. They're not like us. The road is so dusty. We have had a lot of dust on the way, so you have to do that. Wow. That's my neighborhood. Go see Africa's hood. The place looks so deserted. So I just got home. My shopping is the usual. I always tell you, make me your favorite YouTuber. Make me your favorite content creator. Yeah, such that every day you wake up, you have no reason not to watch my content. So my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a YouTuber and I travel best in Nairobi, Kenya. Today I'm not in Nairobi, I'm coming live from the village. So I wish to thank everyone who has been coming back to watch my videos. I so much appreciate from the deepest part of my heart. I appreciate so much. So whoever is watching me for the first time, kindly subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and share the link with your friends. Have a goodbye. Till next time.